Welcome, and uh, we're now going to be putting in uh, like a, few, a bit of work, I guess, in the in Moho. Moho Pro 12 is the program that I'm using to do most of the animation of the characters anyway. Um, you saw in one of the earlier episodes that I set up a, few, a bit of the animation in the compositor, like in, in uh, Sony Vegas uh, Pro. Uh, but Moho Pro is actually for the it was where we're going to be drawing the actual characters. So let's go in and create a new workspace. Uh, but, but, no, not a new workspace, a new project actually, just new. <laughs> and if we just go to the project settings, just to double check, I've got these set to 1080p at 30 frames per second, and uh, I've just got the default is from 1 to 240 frames. Now I'm going to need a lot more than that, but we'll figure that out once we've actually got all the voice voices done. All I want to do here is just start to build some more assets as to sort of how things would actually sort of work. And then this will become the main file that I then use for all of the all of the dialogue between the two characters. Now, if I was chopping scenes around and going outside or doing something somewhere completely different, I would set up a different one of these for each of the actual scenes. But I can do most of the work just with camera cuts and um, uh, within this particular thing. It's almost like it's almost like this is all the raw footage from a particular location if you're actually doing an actual film shoot. Uh, all in one can, basically. And so that's the way I sort of look at this. If we went to a different place, we have a different film uh, canister and go from there. So, uh, But in this case, most of what I do with this comic, it's all from the one place. So that's all good. We'll just go OK. And so what I now need to do is I need to bring in both uh, Flux and Zor. I'm going to bring in pretty much everything in their asset libraries. So I'm just going to go and go to Import Moho Objects. And in this case, I'm just going to go out to where I've got my Flux and Zor characters. I'm just going to grab both of them. Uh, now for Zor, I'm going to need his chair, his desk and his back wall. Uh, I'm going to be importing by reference, meaning that if I do update, if I happen to update any of these things, then they're all going to be, like I can update them in the original, and then they'll update in here if I want them to. It's really quite cool the way that works. I've got a choice there. So I'm just going to go OK. That brings everything in. And now we've got Zor, Zor and his back wall as well. I'll bring both of those in. Import by reference. OK. Now, we're going to need to override both um, Zor and, um, and Flux. And so what I've got here is I've got uh, Flux ends. Now Flux, if I put him onto frame one, I've sort of got him in the seating position as a default in his, in his actual file. And so what I need to do is I need to put the gender identification module into his hand over here. Um, probably not for the whole time. And uh, I then also need to have for Commander Zor, uh, I need to have in his hand uh, at some point the... Um, uh, the book. So they're the two things that we need to actually build. So what I'm going to do is uh, go to, might as well start with Flux I guess. So we've got Flux, I open him up. In fact I'm just going to just compress Zor and the others at this point in time. So Flux has got like a whole range of different things in here. Now hand front is that hand there, so it's hand back that I need. It should be at the very very back, there it is there. And so hand back, I've actually made this a switch layer, but it's only got one hand in it. Now I've done this because at some point I knew I would have to switch in different sorts of objects in his actual hand itself. So let's go into the hand back. And the way that this works is I've got, if I right click on this, I'll end up with a whole lot of different switches. And I can switch it out between the different sorts. So in this case, I'm just gonna go and add a new layer in here. now. I've got a ping file that I wanted to use as the uh, like for what he's got, and then I want to be using this as well. So I'm going to duplicate this layer. So the hand back to this is um, uh, hand holding. Okay, and so that's now. If I right click, I've now got hand holding or hand back that I can make use of um, as, as a switch. Oh, hang on, I'm in there. I should just, I'll just bring it back to the, uh, back to level zero. So um, with the hand holding over this one, which is now the active one, uh, I'm going to go and group with selection. And so I'm going to call this one uh, gender chart. 
Okay, and so now when I go and right click on this, I've got gender chart or hand back as the as the areas that I can then flip between. So whatever I build inside this file will uh, will activate if I if I choose gender chart. So what we then need to do is to go inside that one and just go and insert an image. And where did I put it? It was under Illustrator gender chart there it is there so I'm just going to go open okay so that's it there and uh, then I can tweak it I can basically bring it down to whatever I want it to be now this is of course way way too big so with my layer controls I've got different sorts of controls over here I've got I can crop it if I wanted to but that's actually coming exactly the way that I wanted it anyway so um, I can just grab this and stretch actually if I don't use the shift it'll it's funny it's the opposite of most other things if I don't use the shift it's fine let's just move that across just get the scale about right oops and I'm going to be wanting to this to be done in perspective so I'm just going to go and grab the rotate XY I think that that will do it That'll do it. Oops. Yeah, that'll do for holding in his hand. I'm just going to rotate that around a little bit. Drag it up. shrink it down a little bit X and Y in fact probably even more than what I really need so it's pretty cool the way that actually does work and what I'm thinking of doing with this is um, if I double click this I'm just thinking of creating an outline around it outline on I'm just gonna make it two pixels don't know if we'll see it no we're not gonna see it there I'm just gonna Control R and just do a render. So it needs to be a bit thicker around the outside of that one. So let's uh, go back into this. It's probably applying it to the, the one that came in. So let's try 10. So let's make it something really big. Let's make it 30 pixels. Apply. OK. And we'll just render that and just see if it's actually going to do anything. Yep, that's that's actually pretty good. Actually, 30 pixels actually works pretty well. Just to make it the same sort of dimension as the rest of the uh, character. I didn't think it would, actually. I thought it would be completely different. But that's working pretty well. Um, I might just bring it down ever so slightly. So maybe sort of, say, to 22 or something. Okay, so that then just makes a thicker outline just for the cartooning. Now, let's get into, well, hang on, just go Shift Z, it's, I um, always forget how to do this, no, Shift Z, it's right click, it's sort of the opposite of a lot of the other programs that I use, <laughs> I was using the middle middle mouse button to uh, start to try to move around, but in this case, it's that's not it, so I want that to be there, and then I want to have his hand come over a little bit, so I'm going to go and... Um, I've got the hand holding there, underneath there. I'll be able to zoom right in on that 2012 also when I do fix that up. Um, but, 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 uh, now, do I want to do it on this one? You know I could, I think I will. I'm going to bring the gender chart underneath underneath the hand holding it and then I'm just going to draw in the uh, the change on the hand holding so I'm going to go to my point tools in fact it's much better just to get used to using the keyboard shortcut so A adds a point I'm going to add a point to here I'm going to fix all this up in a little while so don't worry so much about that I'm going to add a point up to here as well. And you can see it's sort of tweaking everything. 
Now I'm going to press C, which is my um, curvature, and I'm just going to just realign these back out again. That one's okay. If I push, push Alt, I can then start to bring the uh, the Bezier curves back in again. And so what I want to do is I want to, um, I'm just going to go to T now for transform and uh, move this point down. Actually, it's just trying to do different things. I'm just going to get the points sort of where they need to be. And then we go back to C again, which uh, I can do... I can do all this in T if I turn this on, um, show the Bezier handles. But um, for, I'm sort of getting used to just using this now. I just push Alt and we'll have that one go up. And that one's all pretty good at the top. Alt and reduce that right down. Alt, actually that one's already off, but I'll just bring that one down as well. Okay, now I'm just going to grab T, the T key again, and I'm just going to um, just move these points down just a little bit. So, uh, control. There we go. Control, shift, for whatever reason. Just drag them down. All right, let's... Let's do a, a, um, a view of this. That looks pretty good. Okay, so he's actually just got, looks as though he's got that in his hand. Um, that one's done. So that's our gender identifier chart. So I can bring that in whenever I feel like. Um, that's all good. So control C, no, nope, that's, sorry, not control C. I'll just escape out of that one. Just click that one off, don't have to, but I'll just do that anyway. And um, I'll just grab the layer movement one just so I've got something different there. And uh, that's pretty much it. So that's the gender chart is in the hand. So uh, so that's been now added to my switch layer. So I can switch just by clicking whichever one I want while it's animating as well. So that just, that just adds in the, uh, the human gender identifier chart. Now I'm going to be wanting to have, I think, Commander Zor to have his chart also in his right hand so uh, the, the actual book and I've read I've named the book a bit differently I've actually made up a name for agenda <laughs> I thought it'd be funny if people are sort of a if people I don't know if people will look at this in any sort of detail I always I always half hope that people will like just so I can put Easter eggs in things and so I'm I've been doing that a bit it's just putting Easter eggs but I don't know if people actually see them so uh Anyway, if they're there, they're there. Anyway, I'm going to make up a gender called Zoofla, Zoof, Zoofla Dykes. <laughs> no idea what it is, but uh, I've made one up. Um, okay, so that's uh, that's uh, all I need to do as far as Flux is concerned, as far as just getting that ready for him. Uh, so he's got his, this is his desk, his chair, and... What I can then do is just use the camera to sort of move things around a little bit. Let's turn Flux off, and we'll just get Commander Zor in there now, just to um, just to finish off with him. So we'll open him up now. His hands go to both the front. Like I've got both his hands in the front, um, so that the hands themselves can go over the top of his head. Uh, I didn't do that with Flux because his hands are sort of aren't. Aren't malleable enough, or they're not long enough. But with Zor, I wanted his hands to uh, have the ability to scratch his nose or do something like that. Anyway, we've got uh, hands front. Is this one over here? So it's um, right click. Yep. It's funny when you, I'm sort of you've been using Blender like for the last um, couple of days, to be honest, and uh, just with different other projects, and that uses different keyboard shortcuts to move around. <laughs> so in this case, I've got the uh, the hand front is this one over here. The hand back, of course, is this one over here. So what I need to do in my hand, so I've got like a whole range of different hands now that have been built for um, for the Commander Zor. So I've got uh, back rest, back stop, back fist, open stop, open fist, open one finger, two finger, three finger, four finger, 
open one finger with thumb out as well and two with thumb out I um, three with thumb out is four so if I go to uh, 04 um, it's just open hand basically if I go to um, uh, but which one would I, which one's the one that I would need the closest I need it in this arrangement what about um, two thumb oh hang on it's two thumb that's the wrong wrong one open three that's sort of got what I need with the and then I can just put the book I can change the thumb put the book in his hand and be done with it so that worked pretty well using that ping file to be honest I was pretty happy with that I'm thinking I'm going to do the same thing again I'm going to make the book um, in clip studio and bring that in as a ping file as the, as the actual flip book so I'll do that. I'll uh, I'll just save this. Uh, so we're going to just save this file. So this is going to go into a new folder. S O one E O eight, um, and this one is gender identification it's funny when I do these things I think oh this is gonna be so cool it's gonna be so great but then you just don't know you just don't know what's gonna happen with the videos once they go up you know um, I'm sort of comfortable with where things are sort of heading with at the moment the videos it's been a week since I've actually had the channel up and the videos have been yeah they've been sort of like slowly getting some views but that should accelerate I think once I start to actually add in uh, other YouTube personalities like this, I hope that it will actually bring more viewership in. Uh, anyway, this is going to be um, Flux and Zor scenes. So I just wanted to capture what scenes these are for. Okay, so let's just leave that one where it is and uh, we might close that one down and open up uh, Clip Studio. All right, well, here we are. We've got the original chart that we actually had. I'm just going to duplicate that whole layer. I'm going to call this one the um, flip book cover. And I'm going to make this a tall, a tall book, of course, because it has to match the, um, the closed book. Um, yeah, so I think I'll just, I'll just do that myself. I'll, uh, actually, what, is, what did I call it? This is where I've actually added in my own classification. Um, gender identification bestiary from androgyne to, androgyne to zooflodyke. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so that's my, um, that's what I'm going to need to write in it. Trial C. I'm not going to have for the transmodern world. Get rid of that. So, no idea what a zooflodike is, but it sounds weird. Um, now, it's actually, while I'm here, let's just change that bottom section. Best before. This is where, in my head, I'm thinking, oh, I'm going to make this really, I have to make this really large so that we can zoom in on that. But... For what it is, it's sort of bad saying it, but I don't, I don't think I need to over, overly stress, like the, um, you know, making sure that it doesn't pixelate or do anything like that. So, best used before two thousand and twelve. <laughs> bit more convoluted but it's alien technology it's uh, it's for use by aliens okay so we'll save that I'm going to um, export this one back out again so export ping file 
this is my gender chart save I'll replace it yes okay so that just fixes up that bottom section all right so when he zooms in we'll then be able to read that and it will uh, that will sort of then make a bit more sense okay so that's good that one's done we've now got the flip book and so this one was going to be actually what I might just do is I might get the text I probably need to put 2016 on the cover there as well so I'm just open up my text I've got that one I'm just going to remove that one but male female and human so I've got the title let's just go to the mail copy over here Okay, so that's done. 2016 version. Um, is that what the addition is actually the better word? And where I've got female copy, I'm going to um, add in this one. I wonder if this will get comments. I mean, it's like if you see this, someone's probably going to comment. <laughs> I have so much fun doing this, I've got to say. It's just fun. It's, it's such fun. From Androgyne. I've, got to, I've had to look that up to get the right uh, pronunciation. So from Androgyne to Zooflodike. Good. Even now, it's the text copy. I don't need that. So let's remove that one from the mix, and then we have the um, the title at the top. And the title is not that one. So I was just trying to figure out how to pronounce estrogen. It's actually spelled. It's done differently depending on if you're American or British. So um, it was good that I did check that as well. Uh, right, well, we have uh, gender, gender identification bestiary. Actually, maybe just the human gender bestiary would be enough. Yeah, actually, that's all it needs to be. It doesn't need to have the word identification. Um, makes it simpler as well. We just sort of have it fairly large. Now I don't really need to have any graphics on this. I probably will just leave those characters around just in case I do need them. I don't need the ink copy layer which has just got the little symbols. Um, hard light I don't think I'm going to be needing. Um, let me think about how what angle he's going to be sh doing it in. That's uh, I think I'll yeah that's okay. I can I can do a lot of this stuff just just um, mucking around with it. So we'll go with uh, the hard light copy. We don't need render. I don't need. It really, just comes down to whatever I want to do with the color in the base. I'm just going to undo a few of those things. I, I had used the black outline through here. So I'm just going to go grab the copy. I'm just going to delete everything on that copy. I'm still going to use it though just to create the outline of the book. Uh, which, But I don't need hard light or render. So I'm just going to remove those two. And the base copy is the color. I don't need that. I'm just going to turn that one off and just use the, the that copy underneath there. So uh, let's go and draw in the book. 
on the ink copy. Brush size, we want this one to be fairly thick. Like that. I might just get a really thin one as well and just put it on the inside in black. Alright, so that's my outlines. Um, I don't need anything on that back layer. I'm not going to be using the same tone. So what I might just do with the ink layer is just move everything across to the middle. Just so it's sort of a bit easier to uh, uh, to look at. I'm going to turn off the, uh, the highlight color with those things. And we'll now just get the uh, text sort of working where I want it. So pretty well. Centered, that's okay. Yeah, the text is probably the worst thing with this whole um, whole program, to be honest. It doesn't handle text all that well. It was not, I mean, it was done for Japanese fonts and things like that. Let's go to 140. Make it fairly large. And we might as well center that as well. to Zoofladike 2016. I really like Zoofladike as a word. <laughs> I should Google it and see if it actually exists. Let's do that. Let's do that right now. Zoofladike. Nope. It's mine. It's mine. It's all mine. <laughs> there you go. Oh, I like it. Zoofladike. I'm going to have to use that for something else uh, at some point in the comic. So <laughs> I've made up a new term. We don't know what the definition is yet. We haven't looked inside the human gender bit bestiary just yet to actually look up and see what a Zoofladike actually is. <laughs> it's really good. Okay, 2016 edition is there. Zoofladike, human gender bestiary. That's all pretty good. Okay, so we're going to go now to um, the colors. So I'm thinking I might make this a um, like a two-tone red or something like that, just so that it's actually looks a bit different. And um, so we'll go across to ba -ba -ba -ba. where are we? Where are we? I'm looking for the ink copy. I'm going to make that my reference layer. I'm going to uh, mask everything so we'll just go and mask the outside we're going to expand that by a couple we're going to invert we're going to go down to our base copy I think if you'll just do it all on this one layer and um, just go across to sort of like a fairly strong sort of orange so edit fill And that's fairly nice and bright, actually. And uh, then I'm just going to go and grab the inside. So I'm just going to Control-D, grab that one. Just expand it by one. It seems to help a little, a little bit. And um, I'm just going to take the red down a little bit stronger. And a little bit deeper. Edit 
fill. Okay, and uh, then we're going back to the text. Shift D. And the color we want to have is white. Yeah, it's good. I like it. I like it a lot. It looks like a cartoon book, which is exactly what we want. And um, so now what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to go and grab the um, uh, so text. I want to go down the bottom here to the open book. Is it the background? I think it is. We've got spiral binding. Let's just turn off that top layer for one second. Is the black there and what else do they have that's the fill so it's these two here so control C and then we need to go back up to here again and put this above everything else so control V there we go turn it back on and we've now got some spiral binding that I can then start to bring in at least and um, may have to completely re rehash it but we'll see how we go so uh, spiral binding that's in there that's in there that's fine just going to turn off the back background control T That's, uh, that's where I want it. Press enter. Now, of course, we've got stuff in here that we just don't need. So we go across and um, delete. Oops. I love that this program is vector as well as um, see this once again this uses different keyboard shortcuts. Yeah, I love I love the vector aspect of this. It's such a good program. Oops, it's um, I find it much much better than Photoshop. Or nearly all graphics other than retouching. Certainly for illustration, it's um, yeah, it's in a class of its own, really. Other than the fonts, the fonts are a pain in the ass. Now we're not going to see this much in his hand, so I don't need to be overly fussy with this. Just a drawing pen, and uh, we'll just sketch this one in. We need a P. 
pin. Uh, we're on spiral binding layer. Can afford to go up a little bit. Just a smidge. That one off, I think. Yeah, the scale of this will be shown. In fact, I'm, I probably will zoom in on it just because I'm, I really like that word, Zoofladike. <laughs> That's a, it's a dangerous thing when you do this sort of stuff where you um, you get attached to something that you've done and uh, lose objectivity. I'm surprised it didn't come up with anything, you know, like I would have thought that, that would have come up. I don't really need to be putting in the um, the inner inner workings. I've sort of done it back there. Might even get rid of that one just so that I don't have it showing up okay so that one's out um right let's go and make that our reference layer we will now go and select everything around that um I didn't need to do that, to be honest. I didn't need to do that. Uh, we're going to expand this by two pixels. I'm going to invert. Actually, I'm not going to invert just yet. I'm going to uh, grab a nothing color, grab the lasso fill, and go down to my layer here and just remove off all of that portion that's down that way. On the outside and uh, then we will fill the inside of this so we need this to be duh, 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 inverted oh got to turn that off Okay, that'll do us. This is now too compressed in against the um, the text, so I'm just going to move that text over slightly. Just grab all of it. Thumb is going to cover cover part of this. Yeah, I'm going to, have to change that. Let's do cater for his thumb.
as we put the thumb across there. Okay, that'll do us. Right, well, uh, file save. And file export ping. I don't have one just called gender uh, flip. Oh, should I put this one and make this one cover? Flipbook cover save. So it's quite involved just getting this stuff like this. But that looks good. That looks good. If I do say so myself. So I'll we'll save that. As that file away, and um, yeah, we're now go back into Moho again. All right, so here we are back again. We're going to go to the hand back. The O3 is the one that we've got selected there. Uh, we're just going to right click and we're going to duplicate this layer. And um, we're going to call it uh, Gender Book. It's going to be the actual layer itself. In fact, that's um, we're going to need to make this a group so we can select the group itself. So, gender book. And I'm going to need to actually create a couple of, I think I'm going to have to put the thumb on its own layer as well. So, uh, we've got gender book. I might just duplicate that layer right now thumb and this one's going to be called um, fingers and then we need to add in the gender book so image animated the illustrator Excellent. Okay, so it's come in on its side, which is actually fine. <laughs> That's no problem at all. That would do. It's pretty a shade big actually. All right, let's get the thumb. Wish I could rotate us once. Once again, when I've been using something like. Um, uh, what is it? Um, Clip Studio. I sort of then come into this one thinking, oh yeah, I can just uh, rotate the whole screen around for when I'm doing the drawing. But I don't think you can do that. In, I'm pretty sure you can't do that in here. You've got to rotate the, the the different objects. Anyway, we'll go to the thumb layer. Now there's going to be different things in here. I'm just not going to need much other than just literally the thumb. So uh, I'm just going to go and remove a lot of the objects. So if I go and start just deleting shapes it's getting close to what I need and if we have a bit of a look at shape selection I don't there's certain things in here that I just don't actually need so if I grab that delete Delete. That's pretty much all unnecessary line work. For the simple reason that it's actually on a layer that I just I just don't need to worry about. Uh, it's this one in here that I this is all I really need is just the thumb. 
So let's go and press control and grab those points. So that's grabbing all of those. And we're just going to rotate this around and drag it out. Turn that layer on just so I can see. So I'm not seeing it there. That's weird. Not seeing any of the points. I've had this happen before, and I forget how I fixed it. I thought it was with one of these. It's still in there. Just not seeing them. That should do us, I think. And one thing I just just for cleaning up this stuff up, I think I'm just gonna just put the middle back in. So probably that's gonna be where it would rotate, but it doesn't really need to, I don't need to rotate it. Okay, so with that selected, let's just save everything and we'll just get the um, the layers back out again a little bit and just go to number one. To Zor at the top. Are we getting stuff underneath there? I wonder what that is. Let's just rotate that. Oh, sorry, let's just do a render. Once again, it doesn't have to be great for what this is, but I can fix that, so I might as well fix it. Gender book, under the fingers, to the thumb. <laughs> to just get a little bit of extra bits and pieces in there, I guess. It's an ugly looking thumb, actually.
of it there, I think. Gets the idea across. Just stands out pretty well. <laughs> All right, that's good. I think we've done. Um, anyway, that's the uh, pretty much the assets. That's all the assets that I need. So I can just once again just flick very very easily to um, to whatever sort of like if I if I don't want him holding the book, not a problem. If I want him holding the book, bang, there it is. So uh, yeah, that's all. Uh, it's all easily done. Now, one thing I just might do, just for cleanliness' sake, is just move the gender book down to the bottom, just so that when I do right-click on it, it's just at the base rather than with my standard hands. Anyway, I'll call it quits here. Thanks for watching. In the next one, we're going to come back and do another revision of the script, and then do the voice uh, voices if that is um, if I think the script is good enough. Thanks.